Hey there everybody what is going on my name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding semantic UI and basically in today's video we are going to be talking about the menus because it is one of the most important elements in your entire web page and I guess this is going to be the last video uh, no not the last but this is going to be the second last video in which we are going to be talking only about HTML whereas in the next few parts we are going to be talking about the JavaScript that is going to be used in semantic UI and then later on in this series we'll be talking about the node.js and how we can use it to create our project and then at last we are going to be creating a whole website with the help of this little thing so obviously this is uh, coming to the end of the first season I may say like sort of just HTML thing so I, I just thought that I would be going over uh, I, menus is one of the most vast topics in semantic UI and I just thought that I would be getting over that and once we get over that and in tomorrow's video I'll be talking about some miscellaneous stuff over there I, I don't know how to spell that word okay uh, so we are going to be talking about some miscellaneous stuff and then we are going to be moving towards the JavaScript and everything like that so without any further ado let's just go ahead and get right into today's video now as you can see that we are still at the place where we left off in the previous video that is we, we had created an input field and uh, you know I guess we are just gonna be removing this little part of UI form over here and because we're gonna be creating some menus over here in this little series so uh, in this little video so what we are gonna be doing to create the menu is obviously you might have guessed we, got, we are gonna be creating a div class with the UI menu and that's it that's how you create the menu now you just have to go ahead and put some uh, items in this and that's even pretty easy that you can simply just say dot item and then you can go ahead and link it to any of the thing like let's just say div item I want to anchor just ref is slash and let's just say it is home and I'm just gonna go ahead copy this thing three times and another time and what we are going to be doing is I want that home about contact okay and then I want to go ahead and remove this home and I want to put in here log out but, uh, considering that the person is signed in or I'm just gonna say sign in and uh, yeah so what I want that that sign in button should be on the right side of the window and not in this uh, left side currently if you look at what the output exactly is you can see pretty much it just goes ahead and yeah one more thing that I wanted to address over here is you are not gonna be putting your menu in your container so obviously I, I'm just gonna go ahead and comment that down you know you just want that your menu should be completely taking up the whole space of your entire page width so uh, we are gonna be removing it out of the container and we are gonna be putting it on the top of the entire page or at the bottom uh, you may say anything because we can even use here several of the classes like UI top attached menu bottom attached menu top fixed menu bottom fixed menu and yeah just like that we can go ahead and create some fixed menus and stuff like that but for this little topic I just wanted to say that I want this button to be somewhere over here so how I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna put in right item and see how easy it was whereas in uh, if you are going in bootstrap it was going to be a complete mess you you would have it would have taken a ton of time just to create this little menu over here and yeah see how it is a, a little responsive over there regarding that little topic like 360 is right over here so you know you can see how much responsive it will be when you will be creating your own web page uh, and yeah, we will be getting in, even into that little stuff later on in this series. So, next stuff that I want to talk about here is going to be about. Um, I, I, I'm, I just created the points, so I'm checking them out. Secondary menus, alright? So, let's just say that I want that. I want a secondary menu, okay? Uh, I don't want this menu to be primary. So, what I can do is. I can simply put in here secondary and that's it 
that's going to be it it just removes all of the border that is been put over there by semantic UI and then you know it just goes ahead and removes that little thing and basically you know uh, it just helps you to go ahead and be sure that your main menu is being separated from the last menu that is uh, you know the menu that you created at the first uh, some of the times you use it like that like uh, I, I, I don't even remember any websites right now but you know you do use them like the primary menu is there and in just below that there's the secondary menu like let's just say you are going to some site or some shopping site and there's the little primary menu where you can sign in sign out like even in the Amazon uh, you know you can go ahead and sign in and sign out that little links are put in the main header whereas in the second header that is secondary menu there are some other stuff put down there like um, you know what exactly your interests are recommended for you the new stuff what what are the new discounts and everything like that so you can go ahead and uh, uh, create some sort of effects with the help of this it will be helping a lot in the UI development practices so next step you can as I just showed you this little thing you know you can go ahead and remove that little anchor tag why do you use anchor tag is mostly because you know you just want to put a link to some other page so you can go ahead and do it in that way now the next thing that I want to show you guys is I want to remove this secondary first and let's just say that you want to color this little item right over here like let's just say I want all of these items to be teal in color now if you guys don't know that semantic UI's even main thing is about the teal um, I guess something went wrong over here okay so that's what was I was talking about so when you are going to go ahead and click on those toggle label buttons over there and you know currently they are not toggle label at all whenever you will be clicking on them you just want that the color should automatically change obviously this is in the JavaScript part so I'm not gonna be getting it right into right deep into it but I'm just telling you guys because in JavaScript we are gonna be changing this class named as active we're right over here 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 we're gonna be changing it so you know let's just say if I want sign in to be active I can go ahead and put that in and you can see the sign in color is also changed now so obviously it works only with the active items so you can go ahead and check it out uh, but, but with the help of JavaScript if you really want if you are really curious about that because this series is going to be take a little bit longer for me to complete because it, it might take a little bit more than a month for me to complete this whole series so obviously uh, you can go ahead and check that out uh, so and the next step we have here uh, UI vertical menu alright so let's just say I want this menu not to be in this way but instead I want it somewhere sticking right over here now obviously when you are creating a vertical menu most probably you want that it should be inside the container okay so that is inside this little boundaries that you had put like um, the whatever the gutter size no not the gutter size whatever the page width was specified into your page like that's nearly 80% or so 10% is left over here and 10% is left over here so obviously it is 80% of your entire screen size I guess um, let me just okay yeah. Um, it may not be but it defines some particular area so what we are going to be doing here is I just want that it should be a UI menu uh, I just talked about the vertical menu so I'm gonna be putting here vertical and I guess that's going to be it as you can see I just created a completely vertical menu with the help of just this little word by putting this little vertical button vertical class right over there if you are in bootstrap you had to do a hell lot of work and it wouldn't just work similarly you had to go through the stack overflow and every single side that you can find the information on but this really makes it simple uh, semantic UI is really making this simple for you so the next thing that I want to talk about over here is not just UI vertical menu but I want to talk about even UI icon menu now you can go ahead and create an icon based menu okay so let's just go ahead and remove this little teal 
type of thing or, or there I guess and then I'm gonna remove this one thing and I'm just gonna go ahead and put in here the icons so what I can do is I class is equals to home icon I guess that's the icon type is it if it isn't uh, I, I have to just go ahead and go through the site again to go ahead and check out what exactly is being used for that icon so um, another icon with the class equals to I guess I'm gonna go to the semantic UI website right over here and I'm just gonna go to the icon section which is available right over here and I'm just gonna check out what I can use for about uh, I'll be back to you soon okay so I'm just done with all the all of these things like you know I just put in their info icon users icon I just wrote, went to the semantic UI icon site and I just went ahead and create took in all of those things so you can see now that how it uses icons instead of just those stupid texts over there and you can go ahead and even elaborate this even more like let's just say that you know you you want that even there should be description over there so what you're going to be wanting to do is going to put in label over there and then you can go ahead and type in there whatever you want like let's just say home about I guess I didn't really pick the uh, proper icons because that uh, I didn't really find I didn't I just wanted to make it really quick so yeah there you have it as you can see it just added this little tag right over there and this this menu looks way more cool than what we saw last time and if you are making this uh, vertically labeled icon menu you know it would have been just like this and let's just say that you want these things to be in line so what you're gonna be wanting to do is simply type in their compact labeled icons okay so I as I said that you know if you want this in vertical type you just have to remove this label type of thing over here and you'll be getting this little kind of icon menu right over there so you know you can simply just go ahead and use it like that but I guess labeled icon make it more more it gives it more space you know there's a way more padding and that gives your design a way more interesting look because the user will be feeling to get right into it so you know I'm just gonna remove the compact over there and just refresh it it will be like that and let's just see if I wanted it to be a vertical menu I can simply just go ahead and do that again and you know if you want go ahead make it compact and you will be getting it even like that so you know I guess this is a really plus point regarding semantic UI so the next type of thing that we are going to be talking about is pagination now if you guys don't know what pagination is uh, you know there's this little strip bar right uh, at the downside of the page when you are reading some blogs or something like that you know they give the page numbers like one two three four five six seven eight and so on so this is called as pagination and basically you have to go ahead and style that whole thing when you are using some kind of backend you just have to go ahead and return some values and then go ahead and divide it into that those particular 20 or 30 pieces so that you can slice them off so what you have to do is I'm just gonna remove all of these things um, and I'm just gonna start it from scratch so dot UI dot pagination menu and there you have it that's your pagination menu now what you can do is create an item let's just say one and I'm gonna go ahead and give it a few like say two three dot dot and say eight okay so this is the eight pages menu and I don't want this dot dot to be clicked so I can simply put in the disabled item and that's pretty much going to be it so there you have it that's how you create exactly the semantic UI based pagination system inside that little part so you know you can go ahead and click around this button so we'll be implementing this in our real sites obviously there are a ton of tutorials going to be coming out on this channel very soon 
so when we'll be clicking on these they will be changing the pages and obviously it makes this a lot more semantic you know if you're in bootstrap I'm, I'm comparing this a lot to the bootstrap because I had used the bootstrap before and bootstrap was just a pain in your ass and basically this is way more better than bootstrap you just the, so the code is completely readable for you you can go ahead and create it all on your own and you don't really need some hyper type of languages like you know sass and actually you might need it but for the beginners it is going to be really grasping and bootstrap isn't really that grasping for beginners so there you have it that's your pagination menu so I guess that is going to be it for this video guys if you love this video just go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to this channel it will be helping me out a lot and basically in the next video we are going to be talking about some miscellaneous stuff as I said even earlier and we'll be getting over some more semantic UI over there and basically just uh, after that we are going to be talking about you know the drop down menus that I uh, I didn't really talk about in this video because of certain reasons because it, it requires JavaScript knowledge and even it requires some scripts attached to it like uh, semantic.js and jQuery and basically I didn't really want to go ahead and get the, into that those things over there so I just thought that I would end this video right over here and leaving drop down menus for the next video and basically thank you guys so much for watching and peace out